Okay, we have another chapter of Dr. Stone. Things have been getting really, really insane and intense lately. Uh, they're at war with an American scientist who also resurrected himself in a similar fashion as Senkyu. Someone who Senkyu knew while they were both still alive, uh, his sensei of all things rocketry, um, which I think is an indication that eventually, excuse me, eventually he'll join the kingdom of science and help us on our way to the moon. I suppose. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this guy thinks about Y-Man. I don't know what he thinks about the possible existential threat of another wave of petrification. I don't know if he knows about the petrification devices or anything like that. Uh, it's still very mysterious. It's just been cloaked in conflict from the get-go. Uh, and this conflict has reached a tragic and terrifying point as Senku takes some sniper shots in the chest. He tries to protect himself with some makeshift bulletproof armor type thing, but I don't know if it'll be enough to uh, ward off serious injuries. There's no way he's dead, but I think it could be kind of another gimmick of this arc if Senku is very physically incapacitated and uh, a lot of the other the duties fall onto other people. Because, yeah, I, I don't think this is going to be for nothing. Let's move faster than sound. It's already hit. It's over. Okay, this one has a very ominous title. Why isn't this thing updating again? Oh my gosh, I don't understand. Now it says page two. Now it just says page two. Oh my gosh, I don't get it. Now it says page two. Client area, what does that mean? Is that why? No. This was happening before when I recorded Boku no Hero Academia, and then it was it was working just fine for a second. I don't know. I don't get it. Page two. Page three. Yay. Okay. Oh, geez. Sorry. That was a bit of a break in the tension. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah. This one is called Torch of Science, which of course suggests to me the idea that, you know, from my flailing hands, catch this torch, be sure to hold it high and what have you, that you pass on something like a torch when you die for other people to go forward. But is Senkyu really going to die? There's no way. There's no way. This isn't Dragon Ball. The main character is not going to get killed off. Right? Uh, job's done. Enemy science leader is dead. If you hang back and keep watch. Leave her help make your choice. Not my problem. Yeah, Miss Luna is still stuck on the boat. She was there to point out who Senkyu was. The, the escalation of this arc is crazy. They keep kind of psyching me out. Like, I thought this whole boat investigation thing would be like, I don't know, maybe a little silly, some banter, some fun about Senkyu being so direct and what was supposed to be a subtle interrogation, some jokes about Taiju being a doctor and, and him having to live up to this role. I thought that could be like a whole little mini arc, but no. This is showing the the cutting ruthlessness of the, the enemy this time. That we don't have time for such banter. Instead, you know, <laughs> Senkyu just gets shot. <laughs> Jeez, they killed Senkyu. I mean, with Senkyu, the science leader gone, those kids can never hope to match us in battle. They'll slowly squeeze the fight out of them until they surrender. Now is their chance to strike back where the over enemy is overconfident. Don't bury him just yet. Petrify! Is it charged enough for one petrification? This is how they can save him, of course, is with Dr. Stone! The title of the series, now helping out the Stone Doctor himself. Dead yet, dummies. Fragments pass right through me nice and clean. Okay. Charlotte, of course. Is that her name? Or Catherine? I think it's Charlotte. Of course, a, a master surgeon among all other professional skills. Oh man, <laughs> this this is such a roller coaster of a chapter already. So the bullet down, spagging some water. That's something. 
which I would have been interested in. Probably not. I was dealing with the revival food recipe memorized. Probably wanted to give me a dead chance to spill the secret on my deathbed. So I know they'd aim for the chest. I see. Because they still want to extract the petrification formula out of them. They don't want any chance of that. And because their science leader knows Senkyu so well, he knew that Senkyu, there was no way he would take it to the grave and doom all of humanity. Senkyu certainly would patch that, pass that torch of science on. So that was the bet they made. Kill Senkyu slowly, give him a chance to spread the formula. But I feel like they do, they are assuming um, they are assuming that uh, Senkyu will die here. Middle of a crisis. Miss Luna is quite moved. Senkyu's down. Ooh, Miss Luna, a medic? Can she, will she betray her kingdom in this moment? Out of awe of Senkyu's composure? And, you know, not really feeling the whole militaristic vibe they had going on there anyways. Squeeze the upper arm like so, and the piss falls in the wrist goes away. Stop on the leg, squeeze low blood pressure, high blood pressure. That's cool. That's good to know. Neat. Why is he just a kid? Just a medical student. Capable gal and find a happening brainy dude to be my BF. Hey, we got a happening brainy dude right here. And by happening, I mean he's happening to be dying. <laughs> I've failed and had to repeat a year. This sudden interjection of backstory is kind of funny, but I guess she's going to be our, uh, maybe our next new party member to be another layer of spy. No one else. Thank you, our good buddy. Thank you. Gotta save him. You know, it is kind of alarming now that they never bothered getting a bunch of medical doctors unfrozen and on the ship before they headed off. But I guess the depetrification process is pretty difficult. All they really have to work on is the reporter lady who can recognize people. So they can only really get famous people. I don't know if they're going to be able to find a, a surgeon. Okay. Meanwhile, I love Chrome talking about arrows. <laughs> He still doesn't get it, but yeah, the machine gun just completely mows them down. This is an unprecedented enemy, another science kingdom that has moved far ahead in many ways. Machine guns, oh my lord. Ooh. But Tsukasa, the strongest primate, has arrived. We do cornfields at night. Still be too explosive, wouldn't work. He's not like would get us close, but there's too little to cover. Kyoga, Ukiyo here as well. Any boss doctors in your own? way up. Oh, I was like, it's kind of weird that they didn't show those guys too, but they uh, <laughs> they got a full spread. We'll have to dig. Hmm. Maybe that's okay for you, muscle freaks. Are they really going to tunnel into the enemy base? A reverse great escape. We're digging a subterranean tunnel right into the heart of the enemy. Okay. This is uh, pretty hype. Um, the shot, of course, totally fictitious. They will never build such a robot, unfortunately. Um, but it's, it's kind of, uh, it's very endearing, I think, first off that in the way that Senkyu, when he's proposing some big scientific development in order to solve a problem, has this image in his head of like a very sophisticated sci-fi-esque version. And then, you know, the, the fun of kind of seeing how that translates into real life is quite exciting. Um, and seeing that Senkyu's comrades here are doing the same thing even when he's not there, that they have the same kind of scheming phase, the same fantasy phase, and then the same let's bring it back down to earth phase, where, of course, they need to loop in Senkyu. That's so endearing. That's so cute. That's wonderful that his, his great scientific mentality has spread um, to everyone he associates with. Uh, that they understand, too, the, the thrill of science. Um, but it's also quite tragic. 
that we get going on this so familiar thought process, but there's going to be a step missing. When they call him to thank you, he's no he's in no position to talk. Um, so they have this cipher that they came up with, just saying numbers that correspond to the Iroha poem sequence, which is a way of ordering all the Japanese syllables. So you just find the positioning. Pretty cool, pretty clever. I don't know if Dr. Zeno, I mean, if he's the same kind of cheat code level intelligence as Senkyu, then certainly he'll know Japanese. Certainly he'll be able to figure this out immediately. But maybe he's not so cheat code level. Maybe he's more just like an actual, actual person <laughs> who knows things that he ought to instead of just kind of knowing cheat code level stuff. Anyways, Senkyu's been shot by a sniper. It's okay, it's alive. Tunneling is an own option. Tunneling without science. Message from Senkyu, just three characters. 47, 12, 42. I'm too lazy to try to figure out on the on my own. Kudon Chrome. Ooh. So the tunneling project will continue. Senkyu, not even having heard of it, knows that they Probably he just straight up knows that they'll need to tunnel. Like, probably he, <laughs> he, he figured that that would be the case from day one. He sent them off without telling them explicitly because he figured, you know, they can, uh, they can uh, come up with something else that they can, and if not, does no harm. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure Senkyu predicted this. And now Senkyu entrusts the Torch of Science to Chrome. Chrome is the one who will figure out how to tunnel into the enemy base. It's a beautiful moment. This chapter is all over the place emotionally. So many different characters getting random spurts of character development and as we understand the culture of the Kingdom of Science a little better. Whatever crazy situation humanity finds itself in, scientists are 10 billion percent sure to show up. There will always be people greedy enough to want to know every last detail about how the world works. You gotta realize it, Dr. Chrome. The scientist now is you. Dr. Chrome. Oh man, it's so sad, but it's so beautiful, but it's so hype. But it's so suspenseful. Senkyu, I am sure, will not die. But it could be that he's out of commission for a great deal of the rest of this arc. Which is kind of cool. That's not something we've dealt with before. This has been one of the more kind of protagonist-oriented shonen series. Um, going as far back as, you know, the other time we thought Senkyu was dead, <laughs> uh, when Tsukasa seemed to have killed him. We had a little non-Senkyu adventures there. Anyways, um, yeah, badass shot of Chrome. He's gonna figure out how to do the tunneling. Meanwhile, I feel like they're probably gonna petrify Senkyu again. I don't know, they hadn't been talking about it. Maybe there is no charges left on Dr. Stone at all. Hmm... And yeah, as uh, Rusui says here, this is when they need to counterattack most of all. This is when the enemy is least expecting it. So this is pretty hype. All right, let's look forward to next week. Good chapter. Again, just very tonally all over the place. All right, bye-bye.